Hello, folks. So, I'm pretty damn peaceful, and I have been for pretty much the whole year. And I don't think it's just a happy accident. I think it's because of all of the work that I've done trying to figure out well-being. Like, that's what I that's what I focus on. So I feel like what makes a life good is how you feel every moment. So the best thing to do is figure out how to feel good. You know, it's not about traveling here or doing or having this object. It's about feeling good to me. So peace. I want to help people have more peace. So first of all, the trick is about have it's about having peace when things are going right. I'm not saying I'm a Zen master and like if something's going terribly wrong, that I'm that I'm gonna be the most serene person in the world. But when things are going right, if I can have peace when things are going right, that's good enough. Because a lot of times, when things are going right, people can still torture themselves. So that that'll get me into what I'm talking about. Um, three things: love yourself unconditionally. Never torture yourself and or harm yourself at all and have peace with the moment. These three things definitely help a lot if you get them right. And throughout my videos, the first one, love yourself unconditionally. The first one, you see a lot of mixed messages in my videos maybe if you've watched um, because I was debating whether I should love who I am every day unconditionally or if I should try to make myself and create myself into the person that I want to be rather than just be who I am naturally. So I thought, you know, either I'm going to create this awesome self or just be who I am and love that. Well, I think now that the answer is clear to me, and that is just be who I am and love that. Don't try to create any, anything. Don't try to embellish anything. Don't try to change anything. In fact, who you've been, or who I've been, or who you've been, the whole time, we, we are ourselves, provided that we're not fake all the time, you know? Provided that we're not faking out everybody. We are ourselves every day. So if you want to know who you are, just look at who you are every day. That's the person that you gotta love. Who you are every day, who you've been the whole time. That's who you gotta love. Or that's who I had to love. That's what I think now. You gotta love who you are every day. And that might be hard at first. It might be very hard at first because you might think, well, there's this wrong, there's that wrong. I don't reach this standard. You know, I'm not this way when I want to be this way. No. The, you gotta love who you've been every single day. The you that everybody that you know knows. Not any kind of special, different you that you want to create. Um, so yeah, that's number one. Number two is never harm yourself. Never harm yourself emotionally ever. No matter what you do. No matter what you do. Even if you do something awful. Even if you make mistakes. Even if you don't like the way you look or you, you, uh, you know, all of these kinds of things that we think it's okay to harm ourselves, you know, or you're trying to achieve some goal and you want to harm yourself in order to motivate yourself. No, never ever do that. In, in, in my opinion, never do that. Because that will just, it just hurts you. It just hurts. It just hurts. So if you're ever saying, I'm so stupid, or something like that, just stop it completely. 
just cold turkey, just stop that. Um, and what was the last one? Oh yeah, never resist the moment. My hair is annoying me, I'm sorry. It's a Pee Wee Herman type thing. Anyway, never resist the moment. Because a lot of times, if we're sitting at home, and we're bored, and we're thinking, you know, I I should be entertained, or I should be happy, or I should be, you know, this or that or the other thing, and I just hate how I feel right now. That hatred of how you feel right now, or that hatred of not having anything to do, that's causing more pain than the fact that you don't have something to do or the fact that you feel, you know, directionless or something or anything that you're going to cause yourself pain about. You know, if hypothetically you're feeling directionless, the answer is not to say, I'm feeling directionless. I'm going to torture myself about it. The answer is saying, okay, well, let's find some kind of direction or something. Um, if that's what you want to do. Um, but even even that, the whole point is you should never have to even think in such vague terms about the future. And so it's one thing to think about the future and plan things specifically, but I'm getting off topic. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get off that topic. Um, it's just like never harm yourself. Love yourself completely. Don't resist the moment, and then you'll be able to feel peace. Now I know it sounds it sounds cliche. It sounds simple, maybe overly simple. But really, if you really do it, like not just say, oh yeah, that's interesting advice, but I'm not going to really do it. I'm just going to forget it. No, like these things, they seem harmless. Like it may seem harmless to call yourself stupid, but it actually is really, really much more harmful than, than you think. Like it really is. And... If, if you just have peace, I'm just trying so hard to not seem cliche because it's much deeper. I know it sounds so shallow. It sounds like I'm stupid right now. And I'm not causing myself harm. I'm, I'm not stupid. But it's it, this sounds so overly simple. And it's just like, it's it's so funny because it's so simple that it's that it's hard to make it sound you know profound like do i have to like make uh make it sound all flowery or you know something to make it sound actually profound like i don't know but it's really simple we cause ourselves so much pain or i have in the past and i'm sure many people do i've noticed other people doing it causing themselves so much pain that if they just took away the pain that they caused themselves by hating themselves or 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 just trashing themselves if they just took that away then the only thing that could hurt you is other people and most people are too busy with their own shit to even try to hurt you you know some people do some people get fun out of it or something like that but if you love yourself those remarks won't hurt nearly as bad if you really just get if you just stop hurting yourself emotionally you will feel a lot better now I'm not a psychic I'm not saying you do this or not but I'm just saying I did it I was depressed I was feeling terrible and it's really so simple to just to, to not feel depressed you just have to learn to accept resistance causes pain resistance is saying this shouldn't be this way I should be that way when you throw all these shoulds out you're saying life should be this it's trying to 
It's trying to grasp at water. It's trying to hold water in your hand. You're trying to piece everything together. No, it's not everything. Not this should be this. Just accept yourself. Accept life for what it is. And then the, the peace will come. It's like a Chinese finger trap. If you if you pull if you pull and you keep trying to resist, then you get tr more trapped in the Chinese finger trap. Now I'm not saying that you can't make changes to your life. Of course you can make changes to your life, but you don't have to do it from a place of dissatisfaction and frustration. You can do it from a from from a peaceful place. Alrighty. Hope that made sense. See ya.